Hey guys, Tom here and welcome back to another video on the Racing Joker channel. Today we're doing some more Colony Survival. Yes, that's right, we are continuing the series where I just kind of wander around and talk to you guys aimlessly and sort of pay attention to the game. You guys will probably pay more attention to the game than I am. Um, anyone who's probably still watching this series probably isn't watching it for the game. Um, they might be watching it for when I mess up in the game, but they're also just here to listen to my voice because they like the sound of my voice. The sound of my voice pleases the hearts and ears and minds of mortals alike. But, uh, yeah. It looks like the building guys are finishing their jobs, which means they're going immediately to different other jobs. Which I think is actually kind of neat. So you can, you can assign like a ten person job, and then put ten more unfulfilled jobs, and when the builders finish doing the building job, they'll start doing the, um... The the the, uh, the 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 unfulfilled jobs that you put down. It'll it'll it's just a win-win. You don't have to worry about recruiting new dudes, unless if you want them to start building another layer again, in which case you have to recruit new dudes because, um, well, they just went to another job. Or you could not add unfulfilled jobs, and then you could um, add ten unfulfilled construction jobs above them. And so as soon as they finish the construction job. They'll go to the next construction job, which could also be pretty cool. Maybe I should do that at some point. Because maybe that would accelerate build the building of the tower. The building of the tower. It might accelerate that to um, a, a much better rate of uh, completion. The building of the tower. Do you like my voice? Is my voice cool? Do I sound good? Because I've taken um, voice acting classes before. I've even gone to a camp at UCLA. I did like mock rehearsals at like, it was like at one kind of small like voice recording studio and then at uh, the, the Disney Studios itself. Yes, that's right, I've been inside Disney. And um, walking around there was actually pretty neat um, because a lot of people, you know how a lot of people work in cubicles and office and things like that. So uh, a lot of the animators or editors or whoever, artist people, whatever their roles may be, they all have um, cubicles too. Um, except they're like caves because a lot of them had like blankets over their their cubicles And so it was really dark underneath and they would decorate them and one person had like glow-in-the-dark stickers on the walls of his cubicle And I'm like, okay, that's kind of cool. I like that as an idea if I were to ever work in a cubicle But it, it would have to be in a place where they would allow that otherwise they'd be like um, Tom you're weird and also by the way you're fired Which would not be good But my cubicle would be awesome. I would have an awesome cubicle cubicle <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, anyways, moving on, we are, of course, still building a massive, the Great Tower. The Great Tower is moving along greatly. That's great to hear. <laughs> great, I have great news. The Great Tower is moving along greatly. That's great to hear. What a terrible joke. So I don't know about you guys, but sometimes when I listen to certain music from games or shows, it puts me in the mood to play those games or watch those shows. And so obviously I use the Last of Us soundtrack quite a bit in these videos along with the Harry Potter games. And now I really want to play both of those games. Who's this guy's problem? Um, sir? Hello? Are you, are you, are, hello? Can I help you? There a way, there a way I can save you from this hellish existence. Um, maybe this outcropping, he can try walking across that to his job? He's struggling to find a path to somewhere. I'm not sure where he's trying to go. I'm assuming he's trying to go upstairs. He looks like one of the guys who wants to craft stuff. Well? No? Well, what's the problem? What if this is in the way? Oh. Why do people not like crate? Oh, it's because mm, he was trying to go right there. And so it actually was blocking him. I see. Well, fine. Blech. Okay. Hello, banner. We must add more bannermen. Banners. Or in the yellow. Or the orange, I should say. 
Okay. Let's put down some more beds. We always want to put down more beds when we have a bunch of spares because that that creates the opportunity for more dudes, and we always like more dudes. We can never have too many dudes. Right, we, we want to do as many dudes as possible. We want to do as many dudes as, as possible. You just ignore the fact that I survived that fall. <laughs> somehow. Somehow. I have like, it's like, it's like I have the boots from Portal 2 or something, and I just, I can survive every fall. I don't know why these people can't climb, but I am, I'm just gonna ignore them, because they're idiots, and they'll figure it out eventually. You know your, you know your roles, you will, you will find a way to get to them, or you will be killed. Is that clear? <laughs> Most of my com commands are pretty clear, but they're pretty stupid as well. So it's like, you must go to the top of the tower. There's no way to get to the top, but my demands are clear, and you must get there somehow. Uh, yes, sir. Um, I, uh, you will stand here and think about it. You will think about <laughs> what you haven't done. Usually it's stand here and think about what you've done, but it's stand here and think about what you haven't done. Oh my goodness. So now what I'm doing here is I am setting up an area for a, uh, a digger job, a digger construction job. Because we want to, um, <clears throat> excuse me, we want to uh, dig out a large area so that we can have more ore, ore blocks to be at our disposal. There we go. And um, so that we can have a massive room to put miners in. Uh, that's probably fine. And then we can assign construction jobs to this. There we go. Cool. Uh, crap. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, we're running out of ammo. Shit. Shit, okay, that means we're totally defenseless and we have the full force of the horde coming towards us. The full force of the whores. Are we low? Oh, we're low on bronze ingots. Shit. Fuck. No, that's not good. We had thousands before. We had thousands of colonists. Or arrows. Shit. Shit. That's not good. Come on. We need to keep recruiting guys so that we're not running out of jobs. And so that we have always have people doing the things we need them to be doing. Crap, crap, crap. Oh. They're getting close. Shit. 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 We're gonna break this block. Let's put this here. Alright. We should be fine. Because siege mode only gets activated at night. So our food shouldn't... Food use shouldn't be skyrocketing. But, um, god damn. Alright. There we go. Alright, we're safe. No zombies will be breaching today. They've had plenty of breaches in the past. Um, and pro they'll probably have many more, but they won't be today. <clears throat> well, at least it's kind of satisfying. Oh my god! <laughs> Spazzy zombie parts. I think it's just kind of satisfying to watch them tumble. Oh my god. Okay. Well, at least we don't have to worry too much. Oh, it looks like um, some of the construction guys are finishing what they're doing and, we're, and they're filling up the other unfilled jobs. Good. I like that as a feature. So right now we've got zero unemployed and zero unfulfilled, but I think let's add some more guys for construction stuff, just surplus stuff. There we go. Good. So that when I set up a construction job up here, they will just immediately come up and go, let's, let's go to work. Time for work. Yay. Let's build a dirt platform. I feel so special. So important. There you go. And there you go. Excellent. All right, boys, come on upstairs. It's time for you to do your job. I'm going to put down these wheat farms because um, I always like putting down jobs so that it's always a, a negative red number in the unemployed area because um, I'm, I'm bad at management. <laughs> we can probably for, afford at least four more dudes pretty easily, but it's probably still a pretty bad habit to have. It's, just, it's an addiction. 
I have an addiction to adding dudes and adding jobs. It's, it's not good. I need an intervention. Someone needs to give me an intervention. And all the colonists, like all 321 in colonists, um, like come to my barracks or my, my room. And they're all sitting there clamp, clumped together, so dense that it could make like a black hole. And they're just all here saying in unison, Tom, we're here to tell you that you need to stop. <laughs> stop recruiting more dudes. Stop giving us a bunch of really inane jobs and start improving our defenses. Every time the zombies will be getting past us in the night and you'll just have to break down a block in the morning and it's just, it's going to be pointless. It's going to be pointless, says the creepy colonist. <clears throat> there's always one creepy one. Then there's one silly one. Then there's a smart one, a logical one, a pessimist, um, which I think might be me. <laughs> am I one of the colonists or am I the king? Or am I the colonizer? I am the colonium. I am the, the king of the colony. I am the warden. That's what I am. I'm the warden because this is Colony Asylum. That's literally the name of the map. Welcome to Colony Asylum. I am the warden. Warden. Colony Ugh. <laughs> <clears throat> I wonder if you guys find this relaxing, or if you find, like, listening to me jab jabber on about all this crap with such weird voice. Maybe you find that to be, like, ridiculously stressful. But, um, bleh. However, uh, low on arrows again, so we're going to have to do the silly break a block trick. It's fine. Um, they're already really close. Um, the music, though, that I'm using... It, as I was saying before, it, may, it really puts me in the mood to um, really uh, play other games like The Last of Us. But instead of playing it, I feel like I want to use the, uh, the 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 all cutscenes video I made for The Last of Us story storyline on my old YouTube channel. It's still available out there, and I put it on this channel too as like a repost. Um, however, um, I could do like a commentary over it, talking about like how annoying it was to make it because it's like a perfectionist like playthrough with like a bunch of save scumming and it's just it's unbelievable it's like it's like it's like um what you would call uh, it's basically um what do you call it freaking um speedrunner uh territory in terms of gameplay quality because i'm just headshotting everything and going through everything and doing certain things really quickly because, you know, sometimes you'll watch a Let's Play and you'll see the, the, the Let's Player just take forever to get through it. But I get through it in, like, maybe a minute. <laughs> because I'm just staying in the one, one spot and just headshotting people from distance. So, yeah, I feel like that would be a neat thing to share on the channel. I feel like it would get more attention here than anywhere else. And plus, it's one of my favorite games of all time. So, if that's the case, then I might as well try. Okay, we're assigning the dudes for the, the construction job. We're gonna have to recruit a bunch of them though, unfortunately. Which means that deplete, it depletes our food pretty quickly when you're doing an entire batch of recruit, recruits. Um, who knows how many of them are actually gonna go downstairs though. Because we still got 22 unfulfilled jobs, which is not good. Okay, well, oh God, shit. I forgot about the siege mode, crap. Boop. Fix yourself. Please. Oh, thank Christ. 10,000 food use per day. Jesus. That's a lot. It's an unbelievable amount. An unbelievable amount of freaking food being eaten during the night when no one is doing anything. You guys are lazy and fat. You just... Ugh, you waste food. Ugh. Oh my god. And these zombies just keep getting past. They're just pushing through so easily. It's unbelievable. It's unbe I have like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of guards. Of course, now all of them are ammo-less. 
and the zombies are just pouring past me, which is brilliant. I have to avoid not getting trampled by all of them. Crap. Come on. No. Shit. 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 Fuck. I just can't kill them. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 okay. Whew! Oh my god. So many zombies, it's unbelievable. It's, just look at this. They even have different eyes. I think the guys with the red eyes are the, like, the maximum heavy-duty dudes. Heavy-duty? Duty dudes? Man, look at how many are falling. This is insane. This like the occasional green-eyed guy. We rarely see the normal guys anymore. The, the normal zombies that take two hits with a slingshot. Now it's just all these like dark red brownish guys that take like ten arrows to the face like it's nothing and just become walking pincushions. But of course, fall damage. Oh my god. Fall damage just kills them immediately. So that's no biggie. We're just dropping a bunch of corpses into the fields. <laughs> Look at this. Look at how they're just falling over. Oh my god. So many. Look at this. They're just blah 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 blah. And they're just plopping. Oh, th that guy's leg spazzed. Oh my god. goodness let's go downstairs and check on check on what's going down there because there we go that's the last of the zombies that was unbelievable we're gonna have like no ammo by the time it comes to nightfall everyone's gonna like go to bed and it's like oh we have 12 arrows congratulations 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 oh my god oh my god okay let's try and catch up with the unemployed unfulfilled jobs uh, we're in the red. Damn it. We were so close to getting there without being in the red. We are harvesting and producing a lot of weeds, so let's just do that. All right. There we go. We're at zero again. Everyone is doing all the jobs. We've got a lot of people down here mining shit. It's a little packed, but that that's kind of badass. I kind of like that. I kind of like all these dudes. But be happy that I have the freaking game audio off, because otherwise it would be... It would be just be so loud, so loud and so just, oh, it would be cringy. It would be like fingernails on a chalkboard. I, I guess. I don't know. That wasn't very accurate. <laughs> Here you guys go. You guys are making another mining room. Hopefully it will have the ores I need to um, progress further in the game, or actually at least make the colony a bit more sustainable. I'm gonna give them a hand whilst they mine stuff. I think it's actually nighttime, so they've stopped helping entirely because they're so useful. They just, they stop the moment they can. To be honest, that's what everyone does. There aren't that many people that are super enthusiastic about jobs like this. They leave as soon as they can, they get paid, and then they starve to death in their sleeps, or they get eaten by zombies. <laughs> Lazy bastards. Right now you're listening to a little bit of uh, Kevin McLeod, Lightless Dawn, one of the classics. I mean, you may recognize it if you watch the Yogg's cast. Um, I think Rydian used it in his classic um, Minecraft Tekkit series a long time ago. In case you guys didn't know, I am a fan of the Yogg's cast. I watched them. I've been watching them since I was in middle school, actually. That's a funny one. So, another fact about me. That's one of the YouTubers I follow. 
Um, I don't really follow that many YouTubers. I do follow a lot of car vloggers, Smurf and WRX, uh, that dude in blue, and other things like that. But we can talk about that in a future episode.